I did a really recent video, and in it, I mentioned that you should really use caution if you're going to use a fertilizer called cow mag. And this set off the comment section. So today's video, we're going to talk about cow mag, calcium, and magnesium balance within your soil, and how adding more could actually be incredibly harmful to your soil or when you need to add it, because there is value in adding calcium, magnesium to your soil. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name's Ashley. I have a bachelor's of science in soil science, and I like to take said science and apply it to the garden because it's been my first true love since I was about five years old. And the first question becomes, what exactly is CalMag? So CalMag, very simply put, is calcium and magnesium in a fertilizer. And the reason why we put these two in a fertilizer is because both of these are considered immobile. Now, immobile in the world of soil science and plant science simply means that even if it's present in excess, the plant can still struggle to uptake it. And that means you can still end up with blossom end rot or signs of a calcium magnesium deficiency. When we think of calcium, we need to think about root tips and actual cell structure. When we think of magnesium, we need to think of it as chlorophyll, literally the backbone for photosynthesis. Now, there are, of course, times where this is more prominent, and that usually comes in the case of O water or coconut coir-based potting soils or peat-based potting soil. But before we get into whether or not you should be adding CalMag or actually skipping it entirely, let's talk about something that has helped me personally. And that is today's sponsor, Hypnosio. As many of you know, I have been on a little bit of a health journey, and this includes my mind as well. So I've been using things like therapy and even meditation to help with this. And one thing that I actually have decided I enjoy a heck of a lot more than actual meditation is hypnosis. Hypnosis is used for a number of different things, whether it's eating habits, bad habits like smoking, gambling, alcohol all the way to helping you become better with money, time management, you name it. The nice part about this is it is on an app, meaning it is completely port portable. And the other best part about this is that you can do it as a way to decompress midday, or you can do it at the end of the day, right before you go to sleep, in bed, or in my case, one of my favorite places to do it is actually inside of the sauna. So if you actually want to fix the root cause of some of your personal issues, similar to how we want to fix the root cause of some of our plant issues, then Hypnosio is a definitely a great place to start. So I was actually just going to start doing hypnosis, and I remembered that I have to do a sponsorship about hypnosis, and so of course, my brain does not shut off ever. And I had to quickly look at some studies that actually looked at hypnosis and how great it was for you. Anyways, there's a lot of studies coming out on clinical hypnosis, which obviously isn't the app, but it's showing this whole mind over matter, you know, placebo world, how powerful your brain is, basically. That's kind of cool. Hypnosia, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. But let's get it back into CalMag. Soils that are most likely to actually experience a magnesium or calcium deficiency are things like acidic soils, sandy soils, or soils that are exposed to excessive levels of rainfall. Great examples being the west coast of Canada and the U.S. or tropical regions. Now the good news is that if you are in the prairie provinces, you have a ton of calcium and magnesium actually located in your soil. That's what puts your pH at a more alkaline state and makes it so difficult to actually grow a lot of acidic plants. The reason for this is because all the soil we have is actually made from something called calcareous glacial till. And just like the name sounds, calcium and magnesium are a main portion of that. You combo that with the fact that we are normally semi-arid desert-like conditions this year no we're subtropical unfortunately it does not stop raining this summer summer has not came actually at all no not at all and you have a soil that is incredibly high in calcium and magnesium and the addition of calmag or calcium or magnesium separately can actually cause a massive imbalance which will throw off things like potassium iron manganese, you name it. So the time in which you want to add CalMag is in the instance where you have conditions that are acidic, high rain, or sandy, and or you're showing signs of deficiency, meaning intravenal chlorosis and or blossom end rot. Other instances where it's very obvious that this needs to be supplemented is if you're growing in coconut coir or peat-based soils, so soilless mediums, 
and or you're watering with RO water. So if you're watering your garden, your mineral soil with RO water, you definitely want to supplement with that CalMag or something even better than the CalMag that is a lot less dangerous chemistry-wise. So when it comes to too much CalMag, too much calcium means not enough magnesium for the plant. Too much magnesium for the plant means not enough calcium for the plant. And what ends up happening to your soil physically or your plants physically when there's excessive levels of either one of these can vary. So for example, if you were to add too much magnesium, you may notice a sticky soil. What we call this is a magnesium-induced soil dispersion, which can cause a sticky soil that also is very easily compacted. If we add excessive levels of calcium, we actually end up with a soil that is incredibly alkaline pH-wise, and this alkalinity can throw off the uptake of a ton of different nutrients. Macros, micros, secondary macros, you name it. So how do you know when to use a CalMag or just to add calcium and magnesium? Well, number one is going to be with a soil test. Now, this is expensive and not always worth your time. So I would only use it if I was using my soil to make money. So an actual farmer's market garden type scenario, I would probably look into that. But the other way to do this is actually through looking at the physical plants. Now, if you're showing that intravenal chlorosis specifically and or blossom and rot, and it's not localized to just a single plant or a single section of the yard. It actually is multiple plants, multiple types of fruits. Then it may be time to consider to actually supplement. Now, keep in mind, the supplementation is not going to treat. The acute issue is only going to be solved through a foliar application of calcium and magnesium. This foliar application also is not going to harm or change any of the soil chemistry. So it is the safest bet to go with. Now, if we know only one of the two are missing, what we want to do is actually just add calcium or just add magnesium. And the best way to do this is with calcium nitrate for the calcium side and for the magnesium side, it's actually magnesium sulfate. This chemistry within those fertilizers is perfect for ensuring that you don't disrupt the soil chemistry in a bad way. And it also helps with the actual uptake of both these nutrients which can help treat an acute issue much, much sooner. So needless to say, if you have CalMag sitting in the shed right now, you may want to consider skipping it for being placed inside of the soil, unless, of course, you have a soilless medium, a sandy soil, an acidic soil, or a ton of rain activity. And the other alternative to that CalMag that you maybe have sitting around is to make a foliar application for this, it's very simple to do. Just do a quick Google. And that is a great way to treat both the acute issue without disrupting your soil chemistry. If you were in the prairie provinces, I prairie provinces all the way, like I'm including the US down into there as well, or you're on a part of the world that has a calcareous glacial till or a calcareous parent material is what you're looking for. There's various different types. Then I would strongly heavily say no to this and only go for the foliar application if you're showing actual deficiency issues because that deficiency is likely due to some sort of chemistry issue, pH issue, plant issue, root issue long before it's an actual calcium or magnesium issue within the soil itself. So Geek Crew, you have to let me know in the comments down below if you have a bag of CalMag sticking around somewhere. The last video that I did in regards to calcium and magnesium and mentioned that they got CalMag and it did absolutely nothing for their garden. It actually made things worse, which sounds about right for some cases. So like I said, use this with caution. It's definitely not a save, but I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.